Welcome to Imperial Cat System. In this video, I'll show you how to create this wall written body in Katia V5. You can see the drawing, only a sectional view. From this diagram, we need to generate a 3D model in Katia V5. If you have known shaft command in Katia V5, then you can easily do. I create this body uh, using a body concepts, using Boolean operations. See, first take here, uh, this body, vertical body, one shaft, and here, another shaft horizontally. We need to create this portion. So, first we need to create this portion, like this, in Sketcher, and apply shaft command. For that, I go to body, insert body, I rename this, main body, select XY plane, go to sketch, then here, We need to take this profile. See only the profile showing hatching to its right side. And here, this is a dia 25. Uh, this should not be included. This we need to create afterwards on the cylindrical surface, this boss. So first I start from here at 120 distance. 120 distance means 120 dia. From the axis, uh, 60, 60 mm. I take a profile like this. then to the down and here 100 mm this dia like this it should come then downside down and 90 dia fine First, I give dimensions from here to here. How much it is? Here, 120. Give that 120, means 60. One twenty six means 63. This one, 63. It moves outside. And let me see this distance. This distance is 6 that I give first. This I set to 6. Then, this is 63, and here comes 100, means this step is 50. Then to its down, 90, here it is 90 dia, 45. Inside edge, we set. And take a profile, still vertical dimensions need to be given. I stop here, then from the bottom, here it is mentioned, this is 20 distance, first I set to 20 here, this one 20, and here it is, from this and this wall thickness it is given 12, that I set, then let me check height, vertical distance, this distance vertically where it is mentioned, this one it is mentioned, 40 plus 7, 47. This vertical height is 47 that we can directly give. 47, fine. Then. We take profile like this. And to the up. And here arc. Uh, here it is. Uh, not straight. It is curved. But the radius is not given. So. I simply go for arc. I stop here, then and this one, this radius also not given, here also it is rounded and straight, like this we need to get 12 and I start, now I start from top if you see top here it is 90 mentioned, so 45 dimension This 
this is 120 and this is a not 90 this is supposed to be 190 it won't be 90 if, if this distance is 120 how it could be 90 so consider 190 from the center it is 190 by 2 then this is 12 as it is mentioned this is 12 and this is 20 here a mistake it is not 90 consider this as 190 uh, 12 20 distance 20 okay fine then what about the height let me check height do we need to calculate height uh, 50 here uh, to its center 50 distance given 50 plus 20 70 fine then see this is center axis we need to calculate like this 45 from this edge 45 plus 40 here see here if you want to see calculate the total height see we, we took axis from at, at this distance so from here it is 47 or we need to include this 40 40 plus 45 which makes 85 then 85 plus 70 from the axis so same thing are you 85 40 plus 45 85 plus 70 155 okay we set the total height and here this height we need to check directly up to down we need to take so drag this then what i do is now i take a line like this then i join this then i go to trim so it is like this As this uh, uh, curve radius not given and straight we connect like this, like this uh, and this curve radius also not given. I give 15 and this point, this point what I do now or I coincide this point to the axis, right click coincidence, let it be like this then from here to here 8, I give 8. Then this one, this distance. In this distance, let me check whether it is given in that or not. 100 it is given here. 12. Okay, here it is given. 126. How to calculate this? 126 means 63. 63 plus 12. And this distance also, we need to maintain 12 mm only. From here to here, I set to 12. That's it. Then final leftover is this height. What will be its height? There in this drawing, it is directly given 80. From here, it is 80 here. Not directly given here. 80, 25 means 12.5. 80 minus 12.5, this distance. Minus 25, 55. How much radius? This distance is 8. So this distance is 8 uh, we gave as it is not mentioned here 8 uh, that means uh, 80 minus 8 72 72 minus uh, 12.5 from here to the base 72 minus 12.5 okay then this left over we check what is its diameter 200 means give 100 the only thing is here in this uh, giving dimensioning and making the sketch fully constrained takes time and remaining all you can create within single command shopped we can generate the output as with single command shop command so here round we make that round using corner as the height we gave we consider it the same thing as you eat fine then here radius again here radius again means 100 126 means 50 minus from here to here it is 50 from access to here it is a 50 63 50 63 63 minus 50 13 radius with 13 radius so apply 13 radius from this line to this line exactly 13 it accepts that 13 fine then here also it has a round this round is a 126 123 mm 126 minus 126 here we can give three radius this we can give in part also by applying a, a defilet or 
directly you can apply corner in sketch that's it three that's it now exit go for shaft select profile and select access this one Why access now we get a body vertical body now this one horizontally it has another uh, cylindrical shaft 200 dia hello 90 mm so for this insert body i select plane mid plane i go to sketch first take an axis axis e is at a distance of from this edge set axis at 50 distance this edge on this one okay box it is 50 then take profile like this that's it whatever the hatching portion is showing create that this 20 distance so this is 200 here also we need to apply shaft in that case this should be 100 mm this is 20 okay it gone up what is its horizontal distance from the center let me check horizontal at the bottom 140 it is distance bottom 140 it is given 140 apply that it comes inside okay fine then what about this from the center to this line i think it is 45 yeah it is 90 so we need to give 45 that's it everything is set and then what about this one 12 again this we need to maintain 12 mm thickness then that becomes fully constrained 12 and inside it is going to trim you can extend it inside exit shaft and goes like this then go for union trim union trim select this body with main body face to remove select this face to remove we need to select this face and this face i go back i double click this sketch i make zero such that i extended the shaft more inside yeah now we can trim union trim select this body with the main body face to remove review yes got trimmed exactly if you directly go for okay here you won't see passage see here in that case in the union trim face to remove do select this face also there's a usage with a boolean operation in katia v5 or else you need to you need to use more number of options i apply color then we got this and here six six holes m16 of pcd 150 simple thing select the surface insert body go to insert body select the surface go to sketch so half sectional view you can see here half sectional view uh, at the middle you can see the holes so in that case here m16 i take a point here pcd 150 so 75 exit we have whole option select that point and select on the surface go to thread definition select thread as it is threaded hole as it is threaded hole no standard select this metric standard m16 and depth hole depth again 20 i got extension that's it thread depth also 20 then go for okay as we are in body concepts even though we apply hole the solid is added now we need to remove that before removing as we need six holes go to pattern circular pattern reference element select the z axis no need to select a particularly hole here be it in current solid option enter here 60 and the angle is 60 degrees now go to remove option here in boolean operation remove before that for this body i apply i assign a color now i go for remove option i select this body 4 to the main body then go for okay 
now we got a hole threaded hole that you can see in drafting whether it has a holes at the base no it hasn't got any holes at the base but here here m10 hole is there again uh, a 25 mm dia a boss like here uh, on the cylindrical surface which is at a 3 mm distance so how to create this means mm, same good same shaft only for that also insert take a body select plane go to sketch as 25 dia bars 12.5 iu and from the center should be how much it is 3 mm uh, here we consider 126 plus 12 126 means 63 from the center to this edge it is 63 63 plus 12 75 75 plus 3 78 78 fine exit now oh, we need to give dimension to this 80 from the base 80 from the base that directly we give 80 why we need to calculate apply dimension directly to the base 80 12.5 okay exit shop select profile and access this one that's it i apply color for this union trim union trim select this body to the main body face to remove this one then go for okay that's it then m10 again a hole of m10 insert body or directly we can create a hole hole as this is a cylindrical surface so just directly select on that base it will take center only thread depth inside up to end extension okay let it be 20 type thread m10 1.25 pitch then go for okay a hole is created and i apply a color like this and here rounds are there but not dimensions uh, radius not given for this for this so directly we apply fillet at the end fillet here let me check 5 mm let me check or uh, 8 mm i give okay edge fillet for this also i give fillet yes it has taken 8 mm fillet is applied for this drawing inside also we can give fillet to this edge that's it so this is the process to create this wall body in katia v5 using body concepts with brilliant operation thank you for watching this video for more videos share and subscribe imperial cat system